Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to continue our first time user guide for the iPad. This is the new iPad, and in the previous video I showed you how to set up the iPad. Now if this is your first time using an iPad, you want to know a few things. You want to know how to turn it on and off, you want to know how to reset it if something happens. There's a couple different things, so we'll cover those in, that video, in this video. So if we turn it on, we have one of two ways to turn it on. We can push that button there which is called the home button or on the top, we can push this button. This is the sleep wake power button. So we turn it on and off pushing that button. Now, should we want to turn this device off? We simply hold the button and it will ask us if we want to power it off. There we go. We can power it off or cancel. If we want to power it off, we power it off when it's time to turn it back on. We simply hold the home or the power button on the top again, and then we can use the home button to do whatever we need. There's a couple different things we can do. Once we unlock it, we can move around. Uh, most people are fairly familiar with how they work, but some people may not know. So should your iPad lock up, which will happen or may happen. Some people it never happens to other. It happens to more often than others. So what causes that? I'm not sure, but should it do that? You can do one of two things. You can try and power off your iPad and then you can hard reset it. And to do that, you hold the bottom button and the top button at the same time. You keep holding it. It will power off. It will ask you that as well, but just keep holding it. It will power the device off and reset it. Keep holding it. It will turn back on and you should be back to normal. So that's pretty easy, pretty simple. One of the things that you can do is on the side here, we have this little switch. This switch is above the volume rocker. This turns the volume up and down. This switch can do one of two things. If I flip it up, we have volume. If I pull it down, it goes off. That's the default setting. Now I may not want it to be that. And I want it to keep the screen from rotating. Now we can keep the screen from rotating another way. We can double tap the home button and then slide to the right. And here we have the rotate lock. The rotate lock prevents the screen from rotating. We can unlock it and there we go. Now, if I don't want to do that, we can do this with our fingers as well. Pull down with four, slide up with four, slide to the right, pull down with four. Pretty simple. If we want to change that setting, we can do that. General iPad cover lock unlock. That's if you have a smart cover and then we have use side switch to lock rotation or mute. I like it to lock the rotation. That was the original use of it. Uh, and it was also a mute button as well. It dep depends on what you want to do with it. So in my case, uh, I know how to rotate the screen or lock it with the one on the bottom, uh, but I'd prefer to have this mute it as opposed to uh, lock the screen with the button. So, or, or the volume of the button. So that's really all that's for pretty simple, pretty easy. One of the other things you'll probably want to know about the iPad is how to move icons around. So maybe you know how to download apps. You went to the app store, found a few you like, but you may not like where they're at. Well, that's pretty easy to do. We tap and hold and everything starts to jiggle. We can move them around. We can put them in folders. If we drag one app onto the other, once they're in folders, we can relabel it. If we tap in the box, we don't have to. Pretty simple. If I don't want it in a folder, I drag it out, move it around. It's really pretty simple. When I want it to stop jiggling, I push the home button and everything stops and locks into place. Really pretty easy. And that's really all there is to it. We're allowed six icons in the bottom here, the little dock. We can move them in or out depending on what we want there. And that's that. It's really that simple. And as we add icons, we get more pages. Should you have an application, you're not sure what you did with it. Maybe you have too many folders and you don't know what you did with it, but you're pretty sure you installed it and it shows installed. When you go to the app store, go to the right and you have a search box, search for your application and it will pop up. So in this case, if I want to search for uh, iCal, it searches iCal and the web. Uh, and in this case, it's not called iCal. It's called calendar and there's calendar. So pretty simple. That's all there is to it. You could tap that. It will open. It won't show you where it is, but it will show you what to do with that. So that's pretty much it as far as an easy use guide. If you want to uninstall an application, again, hold, hit the X, and it will ask you if you want to delete the application, delete it, and you're done. You've uninstalled the application. It's that simple. There's really a lot more to cover, but in this video, we'll just cover those things. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.